It's going to be a hot holiday weekend, and I'll show you if there's any relief from this heat in sight. Well, just ahead on First News on Fox Morning Edition, a massive fire at a Mercer County business sends several departments from three different counties to the scene. The new details from overnight. And Ohio has a new system to alert people of the COVID risk in their county. What each level means and where our local counties stand might surprise you. And Governor Mike DeWine also laid out guidelines for schools to reopen in the fall. We'll take a look at what he says must be done. Investigative, in-depth, local coverage starts now. This is WKBN 27 First News on Fox Youngstown Morning Edition. Good morning. It's 7 a.m. on this Friday, July 3rd. I'm Brandon Van Sickle. And I'm Keely Lovern in for Chelsea Spears this morning. All right, the holiday weekend is finally here. We've been gearing up all week. Big question now, will we get any relief from that heat or will we be celebrating in sweat? Let's check in with Alex George in the Weather Center. <laughs> Oh, happy Friday. This morning we are starting with temperatures in the 60s, but once again it's going to be another hot day across the area and in fact a little bit hotter than previous days this week. Let's start with what you can expect this morning though. Temperatures are in the low to even mid 60s as you're heading out the door. We've got a bright morning with a lot of sunshine out there. 64 currently in Cortland where it's 60 in Sebring.